So uh, welcome back friends. So in the uh, series of safe entry to Pandora's box, this is third part that is Chevron or Mercedes Benz incision. So friends, uh, in the beginning only, uh, I mean, uh, we want to break this myth that commonly taught is that Chevron incision is not a bilateral caucus incision, friends. As the discussion evolves in this video, that you will understand that Chevron is different than bilateral caucus incision. So we will cover brief anatomy, relevant anatomy, and we have also posed question on different social media that, but if we need another transfer incision post Chevron season, then what should be our plan? Can we do that or can we not? We will answer that question also in this video tutorial. So friends, in this series of safe entry into Pandora's box, we have already covered the tricks of trade of midline laparotomy. We have demonstrated two cases, the Makuchi incision, we have the modified Makuchi incision and the um, variation we have covered in detail in first part and second part. And hopefully you have already watched that series. And if not, please do watch. And then because only then you will understand this gradual build of knowledge and you have a better understanding of the whole process uh, so in this series in this small small videos we are not only sharing the theoretical part the practical life surgery but also the tricks of trade which we have mastered or learned from our seniors over the time and which we are trying to share with our junior trainee so that they start building their knowledge from that basis and uh, flourish further in their life as a prequel to this series, that is the Safe Laparotomy series, please do watch our series on the tricks and trade in GI surgery. That is a series of six small videos and many discussion which we are doing in this series are basically the build up of from that series. So please do watch that series and I will share the link in description and i cards of this video. The whole series, the whole course are available on our app and in the members only section on YouTube. To enjoy the clutter free experience, please download our app. The app is available for Android and iOS platform and the link for the same is available in the description of this video and also in the iCards. So let's jump to today's video. So friends, Chevron incision is one of the most versatile incision and uh, our routine practice is to use it for the pancreatic surgery, specifically the pancreatic head surgeries involving the pimples, involving the phrase, but otherwise it can be used for the hepatic surgeries, pancreatic surgeries, upper GI surgeries, adrenal and bilateral renal tumors. So it is a very versatile incision, get graduate exposure and uh, specifically uh, if you are uh, doing planning to access the retro peritoneal area then the retro peritoneal axis is better with the chevron season briefly we will discuss the relevant blood supply of the abdominal wall which will be relevant to the chevron in season so friends there is nothing new in these line diagrams which i have drawn specifically for you that we have uh, basically uh, two uh, epigastric artery that is the superior epigastric artery and the inferior epigastric artery which uh, collate uh, basically bilaterally to form a circulation to supply the whole uh, abdominal wall from up above from the, uh, the subclavian artery and below is from the femoral artery and then we have the intercostal arteries uh, and the subcostal arteries which basically supply the uh, abdominal wall musculature so when we basically divide the uh, abdomen upper transplant season like chevron season in this case then there will be disruption of the bilateral superior epigastric arteries and the but the remaining abdominal wall will be supplied by the collaterals from the inferior epigastric arteries intercostal arteries and subcostal arteries the chevron season there is a uh, bilateral sub, uh, superior epigastric arteries are interrupted and the abdominal will, wall will have a collateral from perforating branches through the oblique muscles and inferior epig epig epigastric arteries and there will be no devascularized part of the abdominal wall. So here is a question friends, please scratch your heads and hopefully all of you already have understood the rationale behind this question that can be planned lower abdominal transfer incision in a patient status post chevron incision. Uh, please just think over it and then we will disclose the answer at the end of this video.
So the life surgery in this case we will demonstrate it was a case of 55 54 year old male chronic alcoholic he is a diagnosed case of chronic ulcerative pancreatitis uh, alcoholic etiology with exocrine and endocrine insufficiency he also had a extra hepatic biliary obstruction the form of jaundice and debilitating pain so patient was taken up for the phrase procedure with cholecystectomy and so in this video we will demonstrate the chevron season in some other series we will demonstrate the phrase procedure and other technicalities so friends if you are watching this video on our youtube channel then you will be able to watch only the part uh, up to the live surgery uh, where we have not demonstrated the live surgery because moment we start demonstrating live surgery it goes against the community guidelines on youtube and the whole course the whole series available on our app and members only section and as i said the link for same is available in the description of this video so the patient is already cleaned and draped and uh, this is the spine position the head end toward the upper side and right end right side toward the right side of screen and we are marking the chevron season so as i said it is not a extension of the uh, subcostal incision uh, bilateral coccus incision friends and here actually we mark the chevron season roughly minimum minimum two finger breadths below the subcostal margin and as one of my teacher used to say go three fingers breadths below the subcostal margin so that you almost reach up to the midway between the gp sternum and the umbilicus and we will demonstrate as that uh, this uh, discussion evolves in this video so after the marking and incision now we are assuming the live surgery and just note the how uh, we are stretching the skin with the left hand and uh, uh, holding the blade with the other hand right side you have to choose one particular way to have a smooth 